Hello everyone, Ian here at NAB 2019. I've stepped over to the Fujinon booth to speak with Tom Fletcher. Yeah. And Tom, we're gonna be talking about new lenses from Fujinon. This is the uh, Promista. Yes. Now that name kind of uh, conjures up lenses past and sort of incorporating new technology? Yeah, we wanted to take the, our successful lens, our lens series, the premier line of lenses, is kind of the gold scan standard for zoom lenses, and people said they want to have a premiere, but it needs to cover vista vision, full frame, large format, and so we kind of looked at premiere and uh, and vista vision, and kind of combined the two, and that's how we got Premista. Okay, it's pretty remarkable when you physically look at this lens, and you look at its predecessor, the premieres. They were, you know, pretty considerable cinema zoom lenses, and this is a fraction of the size, and I'm going to assume weight-wise as well. Yeah, this is 46% uh, lighter than an 18 to 85, kind of a comparable range, uh, and 28% uh, shorter. So it's 8.4 pounds, and so people that are used to having a premiere on their on their camera, like pick this up and they go, wow, this is so light, it's 8.4 pounds. Yeah. And uh, they're excited about the T29, it's a flat T29, you know, the 28 to 100, and then the companion lens to this so far is an 80 to 250, and that's a 29 up to 200, and then it ramps uh, a little bit less than a half, a little bit less than a stop to a 3.5. How soon will we be seeing this? We're going to see this lens, uh, it'll, we say summer, although that really, I mean, we're also saying August, uh, so that's the more exact date than summer, summer okay. to me. It's around August 2019, yes. fair to say. Yes. Yes. So the question is going to be, seeing that this new lens is inheriting kind of its heritage from an older Premier lens, what's the correlation that we could make, or can we make a correlation between the look that we associate with our Premier with this lens? Well, that's a great great question, and one of the comments that we got, the people really like the look of our Premiers, and we wanted to keep that character and the aesthetic that have been built into the Premiers, the graceful, you know, fall off of focus, you know, the clean, crisp look from edge to edge, sharpness, and we don't want to apologize for that. If you're looking for a vintage look, that's not our brand. But if you're looking for a good, clean look, that's what we do, and that's why people like Fujinon. Image circled on this, and because everyone wants to know the numbers games. So if we're thinking about image circle on this, well, what's the diagonal first? This is 46.3 image circle. Okay, so we're totally fine. 8K, VistaVision, Monstro, uh, and with zooming in or maybe an optical adapter maybe we could go into a larger sensor camera yes yeah no the um uh, the area alexa 65 i believe in 5k this is going to cover 5k uh, although i don't think we officially say that but they've tested it and uh, but that's a yeah on friday at at airy we took it over and they took a look at it so okay and that's the first thing anyone's going to do with it anyway, so just to push it and see how far we can take it. The other thing we're excited about with this lens is we have the, the lens data, both the Cook slash I as well as the, the Zeiss extended data. And then the, one of the things that the camera assistant said to us is, is that if they're not using the extended data, can we just take this off so it's not getting in the way of our motors? It's just something small, but that's, you know, I'm sure. I think it shows that Fujinon's listening to what the crew are, are doing in the field, and we built a plate so that it can pull that off of it if they're not using it currently. So the front element, too, also is the other thing people are excited about, because it's a 114 front, so it makes it much easier to find sunshades and map boxes. You don't have to get the big 6 by 6 map box or, or, or sunshade, and uh, so... Looks really exciting. We can't wait. Of course, you know, once they get more prevalent, because this is a one-off right now, uh, as they become more prevalent, we're going to be really excited to shoot some footage with it, do evaluation. But thanks so much for your time. Yeah, no, we're going to be uh, hopefully at your place on uh, April 22nd. Uh, Carrie has us in Chicago. We're going to have it uh, have it there. So we're excited, and we want to do events with you guys in New York and Los Angeles to bring people into your your great facilities and come in and test and look at it for themselves. Well, we look forward to 
doing, having those events together. We really look forward to having you come in and check out the lens. And as I say, as lens becomes more prevalent, we're definitely going to shoot tests and we'll have more to say about an exciting new lens from Fujian. So Tom, thanks, for thanks so much for your time and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.